Hello everyone, this is John Byrne. I'm Research Vice President at IDC. I'm here with Lucas Liu, President of IDC, ICT Network Operations and Insurance Portfolio. Lucas, thank you for joining us. We're here to talk about operations and assurance, and uh, we're doing so in a context in which I think for Huawei, traditionally radio and core has captured most of the attention, and yet I would argue that operations has never been more important than it ever has as we think about a lot of the digital transformation imperatives that a lot of operators have right now. So within that context, can you talk about some of the advantages that you have given that you've been in this business for several decades and have some foundation to build on? First of all, uh, is a leading ICT solution provider, uh, how we always treat uh, our customers' network uh, stable is the uh, first priority. In the past decade, we continue investment uh, in the network assurance and operation domain. Uh, for the network assurance domain, we investment for the, both the operation facility and also the operation platform to support our customer and also uh, empower our operation engineers. For example, we established the two global technical assist assistant uh, center and uh, also with the six regional Technic Assistant Center and uh, one global spare part center and uh, also six regional spare part center. We investment uh, the platform we call the NetKill with some capability of the intelligent and uh, automation to support our engineer. We globally manage more than 34 million network elements for our customer. In past few years, we also support our customer key event assurance, such as Olympic Games and the World Cup and uh, uh, even the Hajj in the Saudi. For the operation domain, we investment platform we call Outing and IMOC to improve the capability of the uh, operation intelligence and also the automation to, for us to find the issues the service was impact. After we find the issue, we also leverage on the capability of the AI to demarcation and also find the root cause faster. And even solve the case, we're trying to set up some rules, make the cover autom automatically. I will also believe the operation transformation will not only the digital platform, it's also related to the, with the people and the process, which we call 3P. So you touched on some interesting themes. I think we're moving into an era in which uh, operations and assurance are becoming about the basic traditional requirements of network efficiency, closed loop automation, root cause analysis, those types of imperatives are always going to be there. And yet for the digital era, there are some new capabilities that are coming online like AI and Gen AI, Gen AI which have captured a lot of attention recently. So can you talk about some of the portfolio developments that you're seeing and how you're integrating into the portfolio? Well, we have a different scenario for the career customer and the enterprise customer. Most of the operators are not only focused on uh, the network KPIs and uh, network operation efficiencies. They are also very care about how their service deterrence to their end customer. In the past few years, we are trying to introduce the AI capability improve the operation efficiency and the service experience to the end user. We are working with the customer and some of the standard organizations like the TM4 News. We published some white paper uh, the transfer the operation from the network-centric uh, to the service-centric. Now we can offer our uh, customer some service to support them reduce traffic loss and improve their customer satisfaction. For the enterprise uh, market, most of the customers uh, speed up their digital transformation, focus on how digital infrastructure can support their business. It's, it's a challenge for them to build the relationship between the application and the infrastructure. So sometimes when the infrastructure has the problems, can't know exactly which application will be impacted. Maybe we saw the application uh, was impacted but we don't know what's the actually network element causing the problem. 
uh, in past few years, we also investment uh, a lot uh, with the AI and big data to build the relationship between the application and the ICT infrastructure to support our customer focus on the uh, application uh, experience and the ICT infrastructure KPIs or the SLS. So as you think about network assurance and network uh, operations within that context of with a services focus or a services angle to it, are there specific use cases that you're seeing now that you think are, are good examples of that both on the, on the carrier side and also on the enterprise side? Of course, I, I can give you a few of the cases we're working with our customer last year. Well, we developed an AI uh, module we call uh, EDNS. With this module, we can ac accurately know uh, once we have the network incident, what kind of the service will be impacted and uh, uh, which user will be inspected. So based on this information, we can modify our priority network re restoration. And also we can uh, set up some automation rules to keep service alive. The last year we successfully reduced 15% of the traffic loss for the customer is in the Asia uh, Pacific. Another case is in the Middle East. We provide the FTT operation for our customer. There is a, a big challenge for our customer. There is, uh, it's difficult for them to know the exactly top logic for the network. And uh, also it's difficult for them to know the, uh, the customer issues before the customer complies. Last year, we are using the AI capability to improve the accuracy of the topology. We can reduce the work order and also improve the certification. In this project, we reduce like 60% of the work order, and this will actually contribute a lot to our customers' OPEX. And at the same time, we also noticed that our customer compliance to reduce 10 to 15%. Globally, we provide more than 100 manage service project to our career customer. We have three global knock over the world, Romania, Egypt, and Moscow. We tried some Gen AI capability in the Egypt uh, GNOC because we notice from the GNOC every day we have a large number of the communication between the front office and the field engineer. Also, there is a large number of communication inside the NOC themselves. So we leverage on the Gen AI capability and so the knowledge we have in past 13 years. We create front office co-pilot and also the FME co-pilot to support our engineer. Uh, they can uh, easily do some uh, query or information by themselves. One we saw like uh, 20 to 25 percent efficiency improvement for the enterprise uh, market. We also implement this kind of the solution in the Shenzhen airport. I, it's, it's a quite big uh, airport in China. After we employ the uh, solutions, we all their operation efficiency, 20 or 30 percent improvement, their ICT infrastructure, resource usage, like the 20 percent. Okay, so now as you look into your crystal ball uh, and you look at your operations portfolio and you think about your investment priorities there, where do you see the portfolio going over the next three years? I think there's a certain direction we believe for the operation and the assurance business will, will move forward. Uh, first, uh, we believe the operation will move from the network-centric to the service-centric. And also, the operation module will change from the people-centric to learn machine collaboration. We will continue investment uh, with this kind of the automation and AI capability. We also understand because the operation business is of quite a complex, uh, multi-window, multi-domain. Huawei definitely cannot uh, complete everything by ourselves. We will collaborate with our uh, customer, our partner, and uh, some of the standard organization to build uh, the new operation uh, standard. Last year in DTW, we published new the generation intelligent operation white paper with the team for new and also some of the operate together and uh, define the process, what's the platform, what's the engineer scale set requirement for the new the generation of the operation. This year we will renew and publish the white paper to all of the investment and also collaboration with different partners.
Just thank you for sharing your thoughts and visions today. Thank you. Thank you for your time.